Ita for refusing to let my sister use my son's yacht for her wedding. My son Thomas passed away a year ago at the age of 25. He was such a sweet soul. He was kind and sympathetic despite having suffered so much he still had a joyful smile. He wanted to be an engineer, but unfortunately he couldn't continue his education. He was involved in a car accident, had a severe injury and became paralyzed. I did everything I could to help him regain his life but what happened was devastating. We were spending time at the hospital while my family were getting together celebrating birthdays slash weddings etc and excluded me and Thomas. I asked them to show up, at least show emotional support to Thomas but they didn't visit. I took Thomas home and I became his primary carer. I found that Thomas was home 24-7 with no family visiting us even on holidays. Every time I complained my sister would suggest I put Thomas in home care. I stopped begging them to visit and include Thomas in their events and check in on him. They treated Thomas like he was dead. He suffered from anemia. It affected his heart function. His health was getting worse. Four months before he passed away I decided to achieve at least one goal he'd in his mind. He always wanted to get his own yacht and wanted to buy it himself. I sold the land I had for five years and I bought a yacht. I told him that it was his. He was overjoyed. We started spending most of his time there. On weekends and on holidays. Till he suddenly passed away and it was devastating. I couldn't visit the yacht till six months after his passing. This is where I remember him the most. My family visited, made Facebook tributes, hanged pictures of him and visited his grave. I was still upset with them. I kept my distance but last week my mother and sister were visiting asking if they could use my son's yacht for my sister's wedding this summer. I declined but they talked about how expensive it is to rent a yacht and that mine was perfect. I corrected my sister. Told her that's Thomas's yacht. Thomas who they refused to visit and comfort during his dark times. My sister denied all that and said she didn't come to talk about the past and that as her brother I should help out. I argued with her and my mother after they said I was declining out of spite and called me selfish to punish them for Thomas's death. My brother said I was wrong because the family is keeping his memory alive by talking about him and that I should get therapy otherwise I'll be causing people to cut me out. I'm sorry if anyone got confused. I'm his father I'm sorry I should have included that earlier. NTA. It's your property, so you decide who touches it. And they so obviously want it for free since they're whining about the expense. Honestly, I'd go Elsie or North Carolina with them. You lose nothing because they provided nothing when you and your son needed them most. They couldn't be family when you needed them so why should they be able to pull the family card when it comes to a stupid party that's all about your sister's precious pretty, pretty princess coronation. They couldn't be bothered to show up so if I were you, I wouldn't bother to show up at their wedding. And frankly, they'd probably trash the hell out of it and expect you to clean it up. NTA. Remove the burden of justification from yourself and put it on them. Thomas's yacht is reserved to be appreciated and utilized by those who supported and cared for him during his most difficult moments. Could you explain to me how you have done that? NTA for this. Very sorry for your loss, but you might benefit from therapy for you not to appease your family. Thank you. I have a group of people who also experienced what I've experienced and I meet with them every week and we talk for hours. Before that I was in therapy. My brother doesn't know that because of how distant he and the rest of the family have been. NTA. They talked about how expensive it is to rent a yacht and that mine was perfect. I corrected my sister. Told her that's Thomas's yacht. Thomas who they refused to visit and comfort during his dark times. My sister denied all that and said she didn't come to talk about the past and that as her brother I should help out. I argued with her and my mother after they said I was declining out of spite. So what if you are declining out of spite? She contributed negatively to your son last few weeks. She is lucky you aren't a agreeing to it only to sell the yacht a day before. I mean, they even admit he has something to be spiteful for. They know what they did is wrong, they just don't care. Ita for calling a woman an idiot when she refused listen to why my daughter isn't vaccinated. My, 20F, 2 year daughter has had a heart transplant due to CHD and is severely immune compromised. 
As a result she cannot receive live virus vaccines. I'm in a young mom's group on Facebook and the topic of daycares and being as arm came up. I said my boyfriend is the breadwinner and I stay at home with our daughter because I can't risk sending her to a daycare as she's not vaccinated. One woman, who is the same age as me with a newborn, started off. She's a new member, all the other women already know of my daughter's medical history. She started calling me names and said I don't belong here if I'm so anti-vax. I told her my daughter is a transplant patient and can't be vaccinated. She just told me stop making excuses. I said, you're an absolute idiot, if you even looked at my profile for a second you'd know that I'm an advocate for vaccines and if you did a bit of research you'd know that giving someone who is severely compromised a live virus vaccine is a bad idea. She was clearly very upset, she posted a rant about me onto the group and a few of the members said I was an asshole for calling her an idiot. Ita, edit, if I could vaccinate my daughter or if I was confident every parent who sends their child to a daycare vaccinates their child, I would send her to one so I can work. Edit 2, I am not talking about the covid vaccine here. NTA I am extremely pro-vaccine, but I haven't been vaccinated myself due to serious medical conditions. This is literally what herd immunity is for, to protect people like me and your daughter. Thankfully, my kids are all vaccinated and don't have the same conditions I do. If I was confident every child and carer in a daycare was vaccinated I would 100,000% send her to one, for both of us. She needs the social interaction she can't have. NTA. It's clear to anyone who knows anything about vaccines and how they work. The whole goal of vaccines is to develop herd immunity so that people like your daughter who can't get vaccines are safer. It's not just for the general population, but also for people like your daughter. She was completely out of control from the very beginning. Absolutely NTA. I advocate vaccination myself, but there are valid reasons, supported by modern, mainstream medical science, why specific people in slash with specific situations may not be able to take X vaccines. Ita for telling my wife that she needed to be a my graduation an hour before she needed to because she is always late for things. I, 27 meters, have been with my wife, 27 F for eight years. For five of those years I was in the military and I developed the habit of being early for everything I do. It is a huge pet peeve of mine if people are late for things when they could have been on time. If something happens out of your control and you are late then I totally understand. My wife is the type of person who is always late. Throughout our relationship she has made us late for events and it has been embarrassing. One of the worst incidents was when I was home on leave. We were planning on meeting my mom for breakfast. I haven't seen in two years, at 9 a.m. I told my wife the day before that I want to leave our place at 8.30 so we can get there by 8.50. We both wake up at 7 o'clock and I'm ready by 8 o'clock. At that point she hasn't even started to get ready. I remind her multiple times that we need to leave by 8.30 but she kept saying we have time and I'll be fast. She didn't start getting ready until 8.30. Long story short we were a hour late and we lost our reservation because of it. I was pissed but kept it to myself until we got home. I told her that I hated that she always made us late and it can be embarrassing sometimes. She apologized and said she would work on it. It never got any better. If anything she would get short with me if I mention the time. Fast forward three years and I was graduating the police academy. The graduation was set to begin at 10 a.m. and people could start showing up at 9.15. Well, knowing my wife and not wanting her to be walking in as the ceremony was beginning, I told her that the graduation started at 9.15 and she needed to be there at 8.30 to find parking. Well sure enough I see her driving in at 9.15. Of course I was a little pissed but glad that my plan was Worked. The rest of the graduation went as planned and I was happy. Afterwards a group of us and our spouses went out to celebrate. At one point my wife mentions that she was lucky that the ceremony got pushed back or she was going
going to be late. My friends were confused and told her that they saw her car and that she showed up right on time. My wife then asked what time was the ceremony supposed to start? They all said 10 a.m. At that point my wife just stared at me and I knew she was pissed. When we got home my wife blew up on me. She said she was pissed that I lied to her and didn't understand why I did. I told her that I knew that she would be late and so I told her a slightly earlier time be safe. She said she was hurt and felt that I had manipulated her. This is where I might be the asshole. I said how do you think I feel? I told you that the graduation started at 9.15 and you were still late. You knew how hard I worked throughout the academy and you couldn't even be on time for this one occasion. She got quiet and just said she's going to bed. She has barely spoken to me over the last couple days and I don't know if I was too harsh. So Ita? NTA. My guess is that she's gone quiet as she knows she's in the wrong but doesn't want to admit it as then she would have to accept that she didn't make an effort to get to your graduation on time. Yes. She sounds embarrassed now and doesn't want to admit she has a major character flaw. You both need to have a serious conversation about how her lack of respect for your, and everyone's, time makes you feel. Perception is reality and she needs to hear it. Before you start training her with leaving on time without her as others suggested, make sure you tell her that's what you're going to start doing so she can get with the program. NTA however in the future tell her what time you are leaving and then leave exactly at that time without her. Maybe being left behind a few times will show her that the world doesn't wait for her. NTA. I wouldn't bother tricking her anymore, but I also certainly wouldn't wait for her. Next time you tell her that you need to leave by 8.30, then you leave at 8.30. If she is not ready, she gets left behind. If she is meeting you somewhere and she is late, leave. Every time she is so late, she is telling everyone that her time is more valuable than theirs. It is rude and inconsiderate. NTA, but you need to stop letting her make you late for events. The breakfast with your mom, you should have left in time to meet your mom when you said you would. Wife can drive herself, take an Uber or stay home. You accommodating her gives her no incentive to change and she does not respect other people enough to do it out of courtesy. So hold to your own standards and she can reap the consequences of doing as she pleases. I know you really wanted her at the graduation so I don't blame you for what you did but that trick won't work as a regular thing.